We bring in a palatally impacted canine. A uh, transpalatal wire here that's nice and taut. And then we will take a power thread, slide it through the canine, just like so. Engage it into the transpalatal wire. Now, once it's engaged through the transpalatal wire as well as the eyelid of the canine, you want to stretch the power thread and do a surgeon's knot. So, pull nice and taut, just like so. And for the second now you want to reverse how we tie it so that the power thread does not unravel and slide it all the way down reverse again so back and forth until that your can, you can ensure that it's nice and secure when you cut the uh, ends here. Make sure you leave a little bit so that it doesn't unravel. And then what we do is for, the, for patient comfort, you can slide that knot away from the occlusal surface just like so. Now you have an activation that's controlled such that the canine will erupt but maximally only to the occlusal surface and not beyond. It'll allow the facial surface to expose even further so we can bond the bracket and then bring it into the arch.